Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really great Sunday thus far, especially all of the mothers watching this update video. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. And I hope that you will all have a spectacular day today. So of course, in this update, we'll be taking a look at what is happening across uh, the North Atlantic with focus being on the Caribbean and surrounding areas, guys. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can see that there is some activity noted across some sections of the North Atlantic, closer to the coast of Africa and over the continent. We can definitely see all that convective activity. Uh, the main development region is not looking so uh, active right now. There isn't really much going on. But let's drift over to the west a bit more. And so here we can see lots of activity going on across some sections of the Western Atlantic. Uh, we've got a lot of activity over in the Bay of Campeche, extending into parts of Central America, likely bringing lots of heavy rainfall, thunderstorms, strong winds, guys. So uh, if you're there, please take on necessary precautions and stay safe. Parts of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, and even down to El Salvador. So should in case uh, your area experiences lots of rainfall and there is uh, flooding, take the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks. And so down in parts of northern South America, especially along that itch, the intertropical convergence zone, we see lots of convective activity taking place as well. But most of that, uh, those areas of deeper convection are noted offshore at the moment. But uh, looking across the Caribbean, there isn't too much happening. Things are a little bit on the sunnier side, especially for persons over in the east. But uh, of course, there is some cloud coverage across some areas, especially going over into parts of the northern Caribbean in the vicinity of the Greater Antilles as as well as uh, as we take a look into parts of the southeastern Caribbean in the vicinity of the ABC Islands and of course over in the west where we have all of that activity being induced. And so as we look uh, just to the north of the region, we can see all of this shower and thunderstorm activity. Now, this is being induced by a surface trough in the region that is helping to uh, result in the kind of uh, convective development we're seeing here. So this is likely bringing lots of heavy rainfall, strong winds, thunderstorms to uh, parts of the Bahamas, as well as the Turks and Caicos Islands. So you guys there are likely going to be experiencing quite a bit of rainfall as we head throughout today. And so, as I mentioned that, let's now go ahead and take a look at what the models have to show in terms of that uh, expected rainfall activity. And so we're going to be starting out with the euro. And of course, as we head from those shades of greens to those yellows, oranges, reds, that is increasing rainfall totals expected. There we have the different colors with the values beside them so that you know how much rainfall uh, each of those colors represent in inches. So we can see that throughout the Caribbean region and the surrounding areas here, uh, the most rainfall activity is expected in the vicinity of uh, parts of the, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, possibly for Cuba as well, and also going over into Mexico and parts of Central America and also for Northern South America. We see that a lot of rainfall activity is likely throughout these areas as we progress throughout today. Uh, definitely a possibility of rainfall for other parts of the Northern Caribbean. But going over to the east, we can see that things are going to be a little bit dry. So uh, the heat is going to be persistent for some of you guys over there, unfortunately. And it is the same story with the icon. Definitely those higher totals over into uh, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and over into parts of Central America as well as Northern South America. But we can see that many areas in the east, going from parts of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Lesser Antilles, including Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, and even the ABC. Sea Islands are expected to uh, be in the clear today in terms of the rainfall, so things are going to be mostly dry for a majority of you guys over there. And of course, uh, even though we're seeing these rainfall totals expected, of course, they're not guaranteed because these are forecasts. So some areas expected to receive some rainfall might actually have some drier conditions than 
initially anticipated and uh, vice versa but uh, of course I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated as time goes by and uh, today is Sunday which means I should have been doing a countdown video however that video will be tomorrow and so uh, I hope that you found this update to be quite informative guys but if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be with the wise.